Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from Holsinger's Fly Shop. Uh, it's Thanksgiving today, if you're watching this on the day it come out. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And um, just going to bring you another video today, just like normal, because I always bring them on Thursdays. So today I'm going to show you a new product that we're starting to carry in the shop from Semperfly. And it's uh, Pertagon Body Quills. And it's really, well not quill, Pertagon Body. And it's uh, like flash on a spool. So it's really nice. You can get a really thin body. In the urine-nipping world, there's a saying, thin for the win. So you want to go as thin as you can. This product allows you, especially with the uh, Semperfly Nano Silk. Um, I'm going to put a base down of Semperfly Nano Silk, keep it real thin on the body, just enough to cover up the hook, and then put, you know, a wrap back and a wrap forward with this body quill, and you're just really changing the color of the hook pretty much because you're not really adding a lot of body to it and um, you're adding some flash and some color to it which is what I like this is my style of fly um, it's what I fish and uh, it catches fish so um, enough talking about it I'm going to get into tying it here now for you you're going to see it in the vise and the material list to tie it Okay, here you see in the vise the Pertagon body jig. Uh, really simple. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I am using a, one of our Holsinger's Fly Shop jig hooks. This is a size 16. And for the bead, I am using a 2.8 millimeter tungsten nickel bead from Nature Spirit. It's a slotted bead. For thread, I'm using some nano silk in pink. And I'm going to take my bead there and I'm well, I'm going to cut my tag off here, get it out of the way. And I usually like to use a uh, razor blade for this nano silk because it, it is a little bit hard to cut. So I'm just going to push my bead up in there, make some wraps right behind it, kind of lock it in place. And then just work my way back the body, not really building up thread on here, just covering it up. Then we're going to put a tail on it. For the tail, I'm going to take about five or six strands. More like four or five, probably. I want this thing to be really thin of uh, medium part dough, cocktail on. And then I'm going to pull that to the length I want it. And if it starts to roll down around the hook a little bit more than I want, I'll take a wrap and put the wrap right underneath it. And that'll splay the tail a little bit, too. There you can see. And then I'm just going to cut these tag ends off. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this thread off. So I'm going to whip finish right here real quick. And this is all about keeping a thin body. So just whip finish that off. And then I'm going to come in with my uh, Pertagon, Pertagon body quill. And I'm just going to wrap it on just like I do with thread started on there. Wrap it back to the tail. Don't pull too tight on it or it'll thin it out. And then just wrap it forward, covering up that whole body with this, with this wrap. And then once I get up to the head, I'm just going to stop there. It's easy to do it if you put it on a bodkin. And then I'm just going to take, and I'm going to make a wrap or two on here. And then I'm going to wrap around behind it. Two or three wraps behind it just to tie it into place. And tie it off. And then we can cut that off there. Cut off my other tag. And last thing we're going to put on is I'm going to put on a little piece of peacock curl. And this piece of peacock curl you'll see is really thin. And that's because it's out of the eye of the peacock. And so I'm just going to pick off one of those little pieces by the eye of the peacock. Tie that down. And then just make a couple wraps on here. Let's wrap this the other way. To get the hurl going the way I want it. There we go. 
and wrap it right up there to the bead and we're going to tie it off and that is all that's to this simple little thin fish catching pattern so tie that off and put a whip finish in here and we are all done so you can see how easy that fly was and how thin that fly is there you go all right guys i hope you like that fly um you know i like to showcase new products that we carry in the shop and this is one of them the Semperfly products are great uh we'll be showing some more Semperfly products here because we're constantly adding new stuff to to the inventory at the shop and it's great stuff so we're proud to have it and uh, i'm going to be showing it off to you and when it makes great looking flies like this one that's going to catch a fish, I am, won't hesitate to show it to you. So I uh, hope you like this stuff. If you do, you know, comment down below. Let me, let me hear your thoughts. If there's something that you want us to carry in the shop, drop a comment down below. Because, uh, you know, that's how we add new inventory is by customer request. If we don't know what you want, we can't add it. And... Um, you know, you help us out by telling us what to carry. So keep that up, guys. And if you have any questions for me, you can always reach me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Or, you know, you can find us on our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. So head over there, visit us there if you need any of the materials to tie it. Like always, wholesingersflyshop.com. Or I add the description down below. If you look down below the link here, you're going to see a long description with your material list with links to all the products. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said earlier, happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next week.